Natural Great Dimension of the 2023 United States History B. Give our finalists a round of applause. My name is David Madden. I'm the founder and executive director of IAC, including the U.S. History B, our all American history competition compared to the National History B, which is already wrapped up with Padraig's national champion. But we have challengers today in the U.S. History B. Starting on my left, we have Neha, Padraig, and Parker, Hawk, Matthew, and John. So, players, good luck. Just review the scoring system again. Six points for correct buzzing at the start of the question, five points for correct buzz in the middle, four points for correct buzz towards the end, three points for correct buzz after the question is done, minus two for an incorrect buzz at any point during the question, minus one for an incorrect buzz at any point after the question. Three correct answers still kills it. There are six of you playing, which means that the magic number today is 40. That's different from yesterday in the National History Department, okay? Yes. Okay, so be mindful of that. As usual, we'll do uh, score checks, and we will uh, cross-check the scores on both the yeah. whiteboard and the yeah. official score sheets um, after question 10, 20, and then as we get close to the end. And as a player uh, that's close to 40, we'll let everybody know that as well, okay? Seem straightforward enough. Any questions? The obligatory reminder to sign on cell phones. Yeah. All right, players. Off we go. Question one. What? Prior to losing an engagement with this man, John Carton, beat him with the beaver hat that he would emerge victorious. That didn't be beaver hat that he would emerge victorious. While commanding the USS United States, this man outmaneuvered and captured the HMS Macedonian. Um, that's correct. Three Second. parts. Say it again. Second, sir. Uh, Decatur, yes, for six points. Decatur. Top two. In 2016, NASA named their new computer research facility after this person, John Glenn, once referred to when he said, if this person says they're good, then I am good to go. Taraji P. Henson portrayed this scientist in a 2016 film, which depicts her collaboration with fellow scientists Dorothy Vaughn and Mary Jackson. For the point, seeing this American mathematician whose work during the space race was on um, that. Johnson? Uh, that is correct. Catherine Johnson for four points of pot rate. Picketed in film hidden figures. Toss of three. Fort Good Hope was established in this state's capital during its time as part of New, ne New Netherland, and the Southwick Jog was annexed to this state's town of Suffield in 1774. This state, which used a C to C charter to claim the Wyoming Valley in a conflict with Pennsylvania, ceded its final western claims in 1800 to the Northwest Territory. Uh, to Hotton, sorry. Uh, that is correct for five points. Toss up four. The quote, there is only poverty and misery in idleness and dreams, is attributed to a leader of this people named Plenty Coo. James Beckworth claimed to be the lost son of the chief of these people before living among them for a number of years. The Absaroka are another name for this people, whose name's the language is among the Suwins Missouri River Valley branch. A reservation in the south of Montana was established for members of the point, what Native American people named for a black bird? Crown. Uh, that's the uh, move, but yes, that's correct. To John, for three points. From green to two. Yeah. Also, five. During a speech in which he threatened to run over protesters, the this man claimed the only four letter words hippies uh, to not. Wallace. Wallace, nice. <laughs> yeah. I will finish the quote. The only four that were hippies no, no, were work and soap. Um, <laughs> six points. Uh, all six. Five, six. One part of this legislation prohibited elections for members of the governor's council and similarly restricted town meetings the Quebec which expanded the province into the Ohio Valley, sometimes considered part of this legislation, alongside the Massachusetts Government Act and the Port Act, which closed up the on that to name them. The toilet blocks. That is correct. Bob. Of course, that. Possible seven. 
A short film produced for one of these events called The Final Days shows Bill Clinton practicing origami and phoning Vladimir Putin for crossword answers. Donald Trump's promotion of the birther movement was mocked by Barack Obama playing a scene from The Lion King at one of these events, and another speech at one of these events was marked with the words Obama out, followed by a mic drop. For the points, name this annual event on the State of the Union. Minus two. To poverty. Uh, minus two. For the point in this annual event where the sitting president mocks himself in front of journalists. <sighs> Time and perhaps my favorite answer line of the whole tournament. This is the White House correspondence yeah. dinner. Oh, yeah. All right. House page. This man attempted to encircle the Marquis de Lafayette at the Battle of Barron Hill. During his Philadelphia campaign, this man's forces routed George Washington um, to partner path power. Buzz for six. Nine. This man's son of the same name was the earliest president of the Moody Bible Institute. Once a member of the Democratic Party Central Committee in Illinois, it's um, Matthew Graham. No, it's two. This man's son, Harold, married John D. Rockefeller's youngest daughter, Edith. The uh, Joe Anderson and this man's father, Robert, contributed to the design of the object he was credited with inventing, founder of a certain harvesting machine. Um, that's to cover you, Yeah, for fun. Yeah. Generous power. Yeah, generous and Okay. Number ten. Henry Dearborn's journal details how one commander in this battle attempted to blockade the city's western side, but abandoned his position for Aston Point after hearing a false rumor of a British cavalry attack. So, the park. Um, battle of Long Island. No, minus two. During this battle, Governor Dry Carlton's troops killed Richard Montgomery and wounded Benedict Arnold, though those troops had earlier on um, Matthew. Minus two. Go back. He's correct for five points. So John. Score check. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. the scores. I have a score of five for Hoppen, a score of ten for Parker, a score of seven for Padre. Yeah. I have a score of three for Neha, a score of two for Matthew, yeah. and a score of eight for John. Yes. Yeah. So everyone's on the board. Close to each. All right. Uh, Eleven. During one campaign, this man was dubbed the boy orator and became the youngest person to receive a vote in the Electoral College at the age of 36. Shortly before his death, this man clashed with Clarence Darrow's lead prosecutor, uh, to Matthew. William Jennings Ryan. Yeah, for five. Twelve. I need something specific here. During this specific campaign, infantry under Troy Middleton captured the Comiso airfields before traveling to Ragusa to link up with Canadian troops. American advances in this campaign strike with the capture of the port city of Nikaka. This campaign from Ireland was codenamed Operation Husky. Um, that's a partner. Now I'm Good for five. Toss 13. Along with Pondus Angle, this man made a crossing of the Seekonk River that was memorialized in a painting by Alonzo Chapel. This one time resident of the Jonathan Corwin House studied an Algonquin tongue in the public. Williams. Uh, uh, Williams. Yes, for six. Thank you. Class of 14. The losing side of this battle was able to gain a temporary edge thanks to using Mauser rifles that reloaded faster than Crag rifles. The American side in this battle suffered casualties in Hell's Pocket before Gatling guns opened up. Action at El Pene swiftly followed this battle. Uh, that's to name? Uh, San Juan Hill. Yes, that's good. Toss 15, and now the halfway point. Frederick Farmark. Frederick Farquharson and his students plan to outfit this structure with deflector veins. This structure has been compared to another in Guangdong province, which experienced similar resonance and aeroelastic flutter conditions in May 2020. Losses in the collapse of this structure included a car belonging to Leonard Coatsworth, as well as his dog, Tubby. Branch. Sorry? 
Bridge. I need a specific suspension bridge. I need something more specific. Uh, it's time for the points. What is this Washington? Uh, that of the Padre. Classic uh, to come Uh, no, minus two. Uh, so this Washington suspension bridge that fell into the uh, Tanaha. To come on arrows? Yes. Arrows mm -hmm. bridge. Four. I'll be very. Four, three, four, four. Four. And then first class was to the top. And to John. Thank you. Toss up six. Sixteen. 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 Right. <laughs> A Wallace Kirkland photograph of this facility, partially titled We the Kids, erroneously identified the subjects as Irish, not Italian. This facility launched the Little Theater Movement and London's Point B Hall inspired uh, over the Hawking Hall House. Nice. Uh, for six points. 17. This legislation, which was precipitated by the Orders in Council and the Chesapeake Leopard Affair, was circumvented by smoking uh, over to Mac. The yeah. Can we uh, show the scores to the um, Well, we don't need to cross check just yet, but, they, but hold, hold it up for them because that's for them to say. Okay. All right, so you see the scores 17, 15, 5, 12, 13, 6. Okay, close. Toss 18. During this conflict, one side ambushed troops under Edward Hutchinson in an event known as Wheeler's Surprise. Brookfield was unsuccessfully besieged during this conflict in which Josiah Winslow's troops burned neutral of Matthew. Let it come short. You think that 14 votes? Yep, it was fine for five points. Okay. 19. This artist painted children outside a white schoolhouse in a work commissioned by the Cedar Rapids School Board to memorialize a teacher who conducted an annual tree planting. A window in the Dibble House. Uh, all right. What? Yep. Six. Three new. Okay. Good with the scores? Yeah. Okay. Cost 20, then we'll do the prospect. Jesse William Lazier assisted this man who led an investigative board under Brigadier General George Miller Sternberg. This man studied at the Johns Hopkins University Hospital Pathology Laboratory before making a discovery while serving in the U.S. Army Medical Corps. This man's research greatly affected work on the town of Canal. Robert Walter Reed. Walter Reed for class. <coughs> Okay. And now that's funny, and we'll cross check the scores. I, I have a score of 17 for Hoffman. I have a score of 15 for Parker, 16 for Patrick, uh, 12 for Neha, 18 for Matthew, and 6 for John. Very close. And you go. Good luck. You want match. Teddy Roosevelt wrote a book about the naval war of this conflict. Yes. Six points. Six points. So it goes. All right, 22. This man who served as a lieutenant in the U.S. Army during World War II lost his arm while leading an assault on Colin Musatello in Italy. This man was posthumously awarded both the Medal of Freedom and the Order of the Paulonia Flowers, and he chaired the special Senate committee that investigated wrongdoing in the Irish Contra affair. The first Jap uh, Matthew Tower. No, minus two. The first Japanese American to serve in the U.S. Senate. This is for the points. What Hawaiian congressman who served for 49 years from 1963 to 20? Dan and Yell. Say it. Dan and Yell. That's close enough, yes. Uh, his name is pronounced in a way, but uh, uh, yeah, that's a never been possible for this nation. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. so it's not a name. John, yes, yes, so for three. Okay, 23. This author's first name was taken from a ship captained by Peter Gwynn that brought her to Boston. The Newport Mercury printed this author's first published work, a poem titled On Messrs. Hussey and Coffin. This author's poems include On Being Brought from Africa. 
to uh, Nima. Fill the sweet peas. Fill the sweet peas good for five. Good five. All right. Let's see. Flores. I'm going to lead, but it's very close. 24. Benjamin F. Stevenson was the founder of this organization, which established a set of principles around fraternity, charity, and loyalty. Stuart McConnell described this organization as the single most powerful single issue political lobby of the late 19th century. John Logan rallied members of this group to make May 30th an annual celebration of Memorial Day. Marines and other branches of the Union military formed for the points what Devlin's fraternal organization. Wait. Ah, you should know this. This is the Grand Army of the Republic. Oh, which my great 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 grandfather was in it. Really? 25. This politician delivered the speech New Challenges in International Relations, the first of a still continuing series of his namesake lectures. This politician's daughter, Nancy Castlebaum, Sir Adelina. Landon. Nice for six. Out landed. Nancy landed the house on. Yep. <laughs> and that brings Neha into the lead by a point with five. Top 26. This person was the first president of the American Professional Football Association. Glenn Top Warner coached this athlete third to Tucker. Thorpe. Thorpe for six. Jim Thorpe. Rolls. You bet. On to 27. This event ended with the passage of a force bill that would close custom houses and authorize the military enforcement of federal laws. An essay arguing that state conventions could be clear. Uh, the, the nullification crisis. That is good for five. We're tied. Toss up 28. Three to go. During this event, one person responded to local church opposition by reading a satirical poem mocking the so called Lord's creation. Frederick Douglass was the only black attendant. Mm -hmm. Parker said, Verse uh, six. You're still very much alive for the national title with three to go. 28, 28, 21. Taught at 17. Matthew at 16. All right. 12 points to go. Cost 29. During the siege of this city, John Manley's ship, the Lee, captured a brigantine named Nancy on its way to supply forces at Lechmere's Point. British troops at this siege were successfully cut off from supply lines after the fortification of Dorchester Heights. Um, Parker lost them. It's been for five. Oh. Oh. Bringing you 26. Base is loaded. Base is loaded. Okay, this is a good toss up. I'll explain why after. Good luck, players. Stan Waitie of this tribe raised a regiment of troops to fight for the Confederacy, and he was one of two Native American Brigadier Generals in the Civil War. After the Indian Removal Act, William Collin Thomas purchased land where members of this tribe had lived in North Carolina called the Paula Boundary. Sequoia developed the civil to hot ray. Jackie is cursed. I was called Ripley's Washingtonian at that little Tacoma Bay slash America. Why that last question was good, and why I specifically this question with Packet. Uh, Stan Wakey came up at high school nationals in the B finals and went dead. And I, I thought that oh, that was 
that high school players should know. So mm -hmm. can you build so? Yeah. Fantastic match. That was a lot of fun. So still another meeting of any number of these players, I'm sure. In the U.S. Academic BE finals later today, and supposedly there's a National History Bowl going on as well. So, uh, congratulations, Padre and. In sixth place, we have John. Congratulations. Congratulations. I'm going to start over here. Third with one. Third with one. Before we split, this is incredible. Eighth graders. If you put together an all star team here, where do you think they would rank up with a good school national in a ball game? Ooh, I'm going to go over and say that. From this year, what's your honor spot? From this year or? Uh, let me add him. Let me add him. Uh, <laughs> now you're really. Uh, <laughs> I, I'd like hard, hard to say, of course. Uh, you know, I mean, which high schoolers are you referring to specifically? Um, the strongest player that we've ever seen in ISC is Jacob Myers. Um, oh, I really so, don't think there's that much of an argument there. Um, was he a I know, I know he was. He was from the Great Old State of Illinois. Yeah, uh, from the he, history of geography. Uh, but he ripped. He ripped through ages NCT like no. He he now it involves sweeping the bounce back of the oh, other team signals. Oh, that you can do that? Oh, spending on the It requires they they right, right there for sure. Uh, I think what's also driving the pencil is the match today. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one thing I should have mentioned in the coming attractions portion, which which I neglected to, uh, but I mentioned it, I believe, at high school national is oh, that uh, we are um, looking to debut a college uh, version of the National History Bee at nationals uh, next year. I'd love to hear it. Yeah. And the way that that's going to work is that the three playoff rounds of the bowl on Saturday will be the first. We'll rework it into B format, but those will be the first three prelim rounds for college. Okay. Then the remaining three bowl playoff rounds um, on Sunday will be the remaining three B prelim rounds for college. And then the B, B playoff rounds, we will take those questions and edit them up in difficulty to the uh, B playoff rounds for, for college. Um, I like the sound of that. Then the, the collegiate players be pumped and staff. On yep. Saturday morning and afternoon, and Sunday morning when we really need staff for the premiers and then play for the playoffs. Yes. So, not four more years, possibly eight more years. I sound like somebody running for the presidency. <laughs> And uh, awards to the ballroom, presumably, for this. Uh, he 